occasion. Um, I've been working here with a group of a couple of people on a protein group called Antibody. So we've been trying to investigate what happens if your body is not only a controller, but also the site for play and the screen. So we hope to, we hope to create a, um, a game which is controlled eventually and, dis uh, and um, which is controlled and displayed by projecting onto the human body. So you will move in order to play the game. Um, we've been working on several experiments to uh, try and see what happens when people move in really strange, awkward, peculiar ways in order to interact with technology. And uh, here is one of them. So I can just get my totally not selected <laughs> person from to demonstrate. This is what we call anti-play. We have two versions. This is our two-dimensional version. And it is controlled using one hand and one knee. And this was to investigate really what happens when it's a very peculiar kind of body motion, which people aren't used to. And we saw a lot of different responses. Some people were very, very quick to pick it up. Other people mapped, um, mapped the motions actually Erroneously, they would use their arms and not one, you know, wonder why one of the planes wasn't working. And they would, um, it taught us a lot about how people acclimatize to the different technologies. So, yeah. um, eventually, a lot of people um, fall into the, either the pattern of moving very strangely and very wildly, or they'll fix their joints and move as deliberately as they can. So it's it's been very important. Uh -huh. um, could be interesting for many kinds of things, for coordination of movement. 